What is up you guys? You're watching Sergio Secret. Before I get started with today's video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe button. I post a video Monday through Friday on contemporary and designer fashion, so make sure to subscribe so you can never miss any one of my uploads, and I'll always be here posting some great content. All the links and everything, including what I'm wearing, will be always linked down below. And today's video is going to be the It Bags under $500 in the contemporary space. These are always my favorite videos to film. I uh, fall and winter, I did one, and it was my favorite handbags under $500. This one is going to be the same one, but for spring and summer, there's so much newness handbags. Some of them um, have a different variation to them. So let's go ahead and get started with all the handbags that we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to scoot over just a little bit on this side. So if I do have to insert a picture, uh, I have them all ready for you. But some of these bags that are behind me are going to be making a cameo because I think that they are it bags of 2021 first it bag that I feel like is going to still be popular is going to be the Telfar uh, vegan shop tote this one comes in three sizes it comes in a mini this is the medium size and then a humongous extra large size this bag was taken over storm last year but I feel like it was still taking over storm so much that it still needs a moment in 2021 i feel like girls if you want the tofar toe i would say go for it i know they sell out all the time if you sign up for emails they tell you when the next drop is and in the color i have mine in the color sand i believe and i love it so much i think it's such a good toe it fits my laptop 13 inch it fits my entire life it has an other strap in here where you can make it strap where you can make it as a crossbody and shoulder bag it's super versatile i believe this one is 202 i think that this is a really great price point it goes with absolutely everything i like that it has no hardware so you can wear rose gold you can wear silver you can wear gold you can mix and match you can wear so much with it you can spill a drink wipe it right off this handbag has been holding up really well ever since I got it in December and I still think that the toe far toe is still going to be a very very strong contender in 2021 so if you have it on your wish list if you keep having your eye on it I think right now in the spring and summer especially if you get a really nice colorful one I think it is the time to get it and I personally prefer this size or the size smaller I feel like the other one's a little bit more of a travel size bag uh, but regardless whichever one you get I think that the toe far a shopper tote is still here to come it's still going to be strong for the rest of the year Year, not even for spring and summer so number one toe far toe definitely here for it another it bag that i feel like is going to be very popular is going to be this handbag from toy birch and it is this ella canvas handbag this one comes in in a small version at 398 dollars and then they have a larger one for i believe 428 i'm going to add this handbag in my collection pretty soon so you know within the next couple weeks you'll probably see me add this along with the um miller cloud sandal i love this toe i think it is so well i've seen it in person the small one is super cute but i want the large one it has so much structure because it has leather throughout it so i find that that leather kind of holds the canvas and it gives it more of shape it gives it more form it has leather at the bottom i just overall love the ella collection in general i have the classic ella toe in black nylon i've had it for about a year and two months ish it literally looks brand new the moment that i bought it i spilled everything on it and it looks good and i just love how good good of a size is but i like how the camis one has structure versus the nylon is a little bit more you know it's nylon so it doesn't really hold a structure as well so i think that this one's going to be a hot bag summer bag beach bag you know it can be kind of like a basket bag type bag where you can take it out to a picnic you can put your entire life in there fit a laptop i'm going to be adding this handbag into my collection I cannot wait to get it. It is, I think it's such a good, if you want a nice Laurent toe or book toe or that type of style of a fabric handbag, I think that this Troy Bertrand is really well and because it also has leather and it's gonna have a little bit more sham bag is one of my newer additions into my collection. It is the Polin number no. nine bag. This one that I have is in the color black. I did an unboxing on this handbag. So if you wanna see more of a detailed, how the packaging, everything comes in, I will leave it down below for you guys. Pero esta me gusta mucho porque you can wear it as a crossbody, you can wear it as a shoulder bag, you can wear it as a little top handle moment. It comes in another, um, it comes in a bunch of colors. I recommend the nude, I recommend the white one, and I recommend this black one right here. I love that on the side it says pull in. I like that it's very discreet. I like that it's not very in your face. I like how it's just very clean cut, simple, you know, straight to the point. I like that it has kind of like that kind of malleable, kind of like that soft look to it. But when you actually hold it, it actually has quite a bit of structure on it. It, and that's what I really really appreciate about this pull-in handbag so for me I think that this is a winner I think it's a really great choice last video on pull-in I talked about all three handbags so if you do want to know 
more about Polen. I'll leave it linked down below. Um, but this is going to be one of the bags that I'm going to be using a lot with blazer sets. So this spring and summer, I, I have purchased quite a bit of trousers and blazers, um, like in white linen and so many different colors. And this is going to be one of the bags that I'm going to be carrying it with because it just goes seamlessly with all the outfits that I'm wearing. The sandal from the row that's a square toe, and these two are going to become best friends. These two are going to be pairing really well with each other, and I just can't wait for it to get more hot here. Dallas, it's always some bipolar weather, but um, this one is going to get a lot more wear. I love it. I've had it for a couple of days now, and I, this is going to be a strong contender, and I highly recommend the Pullen number no. 9 handbag one of the eight handbags for this season. Handbag brand in general that I feel like is going to be even more popular is going to be JWPEI. I keep seeing so much Instagram ads for them, so many Instagram ads, and then on International Women's Day, they had a promo where it was like 50 bucks for this bag, and so I ordered it. I have not even talked about this brand, so I will be talking about it on in another video, but this brand right here, they make a lot of vegan bags under $100, and when it came, it came in a box. They even gifted me a card case. I need even though I was supposed to get that. It is super pretty. It is this white kind of ivory color. I love the slouchiness. It has the brand right there. I love the little scrunchy little details right here. It is super cute. It is super adorable. Like this, uh, this goes with this outfit that I'm wearing, a blue button up, um, some trousers in my pearl set. I think that this all goes with as well as an outfit. I think that this brand is definitely worth checking out because if, especially if you do want a vegan bag or you want handbags under $100, I have not seen a lot of handbag brands make like nice handbags that I would buy under $100 and this is one of them that I've liked so far and so you'll be seeing me talk about this brand a little bit more. I may purchase a little bit more from them. I'm not really sure but if you are looking for a handbags under $100 that are nice trendy it bags, this brand is worth checking out. I highly recommend it. The shipping was really fast on it and um, I think we're going to be seeing more of this brand on the YouTube and kind of like the social media space is JWPEI. Like I said, I kept getting so many ads and normally I'm not a sucker for ads but I actually really did like the silhouette of this bag so I was like, you know what, I'm going to go for it and I haven't regretted it. It's super cute and this one will get worn um, with this full white set that I have that I'm waiting for it to get a little bit more warm to wear but this is definitely a yes. This handbag comes in at no surprise no surprise this list is in no particular order but if I feel like there's one it back for spring and summer the it back for the contemporary space from January to June it is this bag right here like I said I, they're in no particular order but if I were to pick the number one it bag it's going to be the coach pillow tabby this baby has been taken by storm ever since she launched ever since she's been on social media I have seen so many videos I've seen so many people that haven't even had coach bags in many years purchase this pillow tabby when I tell you that this is the it bag of the season this is the it bag of the season. I did an unboxing on it. If you're interested, I will leave it linked down below. I ended up purchasing it in the kind of creamy color. I also got it in a gray color. I ended up keeping this one. I used it. I used it last night for dinner. I love it so much. I like how everything's so seamless. You got a little bit of the gold hardware peeping through. Um, I love it. She's a thick moment right here. See, she has all my little stuff right here. She has a lot of padding right here. Um, I can put everything, as you can see, I went out last night and I put all my jewelry in there. But I just think that this bag has been going really well. I've been loving my time ever since I purchased it. I love the little extra puffy dog tag. I will say I haven't really carried it as a crossbody or shoulder bag. I definitely do prefer it more as a baguette style. I find that it looks more cute, it looks more fresh, it looks more youthful. So that's why I've been carrying mine more as a top handle moment um, or the crook of my arm just because I like the way it hits and I think it looks more cuter than the crossbody or the shoulder bag in my opinion. But like I said, if there's one it bag of this spring and the summer, it's going to be the Coach Pillow Tabby, like no exception. So here you go, Coach. You had your moment last year with the Cassies. I'm still wearing the Cassies and with the regular Tabby, but you killed it with this Coach Pillow Tabby. This is the it bag of the season, period. Like, you cannot tell me that this is not the it bag of the contemporary space, because this one is. Um, we have another Toy Birch handbag on my list, and it's going to be the Toy Birch um, Monogram Bucket Bags. And so the one that I would pick is going to be this one, which is going to be the embossed version. It's like a little bit more on the smaller side. It has a crossbody. You can carry it as a little top handle moment. Um, I kind of like the navy one. I think it is so cute. I love like the little, I love the little strings where you kind of make it a little bit tighter. It has like TT right there in middle, like in a little ball. I like the larger ones in monogram. Um, I just really think that the Toy Birch Bucket Bag is kind of like their bag 
for the season. I love that at the bottom. It has the TT stitched in, stitched in. I just love the attention to details in this handbag. And I'm not really a big bucket bag person. As you can see behind me, I don't even own a bucket bag in my collection. But this is a handbag that I feel like I will add into my collection when I go into the Toy Bridge store, when I look at the Elito, the, the Cloud Miller, and when I go look at some of the other bags. This may be a bag that I may take home with me. I just think that it is perfect. It goes with everything. If you're a big fan of bucket bags, I think this Troy Bridge one is really worth adding into your collection. I, I love it, but this is the combo that I'll get. I'll get the small navy one because I don't have any navy bags in my collection. I can find the value in navy handbags, especially when I'm wearing a lot of white tops and blue shorts in the summertime. It just kind of goes with everything versus um, the contrast of black and blue and white is a little bit too harsh. I think navy, white, and kind of blue looks a little bit more softer overall. So I think that the Troy Bridge bucket bag is a really great choice if you're looking for it. But they're all under that 448 price point, and I think you can never go wrong with a bucket bag. I think Troy really killed it this season with the bucket bag style. Next one is going to be a handbag brand that I've never talked about on my channel, so I'm glad to finally talk about it. It's going to be from Ted Baker, and this bag comes in at $209. It is a Ted Baker Amali leather crossbody bag. Bag. This bag comes in so many variations. It kind of gives me um, Chloe Tess vibes, Chloe kind of Drew vibes. But I will say, I really wasn't a big fan of Ted Baker. I found that maybe five years ago, even like two years ago, a lot of things looked a little too juvenile for my tasting. A lot of things had like flowers. It was like super feminine, like super rose goldy. Wasn't my aesthetic, even in the men's line. But the other day, I walked past through the Ted Baker store at North Park, and they actually had like a lot of really pretty things in the window. Like the aesthetic of Ted Baker evolved. I feel like it needed to evolve. And now when I went through the window, there was actually stuff that I was interested in, things that I liked. And that was one of the bags that I saw that I really, really liked. It's a good size. It's Ted Baker 209. I love the strap on it. It's going to be super comfortable. You can never go wrong with this, especially if you want kind of like that uh, Tess look looking handbag from Chloe. That Drew looking bag from Chloe. If you want kind of like that look or that aesthetic. And I like how this one, you can make it a lot more casual. It doesn't have to be super dressed up. You can wear a beautiful long linen dress. And you can pair that off with a pair of sunglasses and you're on the go. Maybe you can dress it up. Maybe you can wear it of a blazer moment and you can wear this with it. What I like is that it's that grainy leather. So if anything happens on there, girl, just get a little wipe and we clean it off. We're going to get a little spritz. We're going to put a little leather conditioner and it's going to come right off. I think this is a really great choice for under that price point. And I, you know, I like Ted Baker now. Like I'm starting to like a lot of the Ted Baker stuff. I think within the last year they really improved and i think their brand as in general has involved so much so i'm super happy to see how ted baker will be doing within the next couple of seasons i, I love it and this bag uh, is no exception i really do like this ted baker um handbag the next one is going to be the mark jacobs the tote bag okay so you see me have my uh canvas one here i think this one is still going strong if you're interested this is 175 one of my favorite handbags in my collection especially under the 200 dollars price point or so we're not talking about her today unfortunately she is a still it bag because it's still the same collection so if you do want a good bag this one's a really great one but the one that we are talking about today is going to be the mark jacobs the tote bag in all leather particularly in this color right here this color color says spring and summer like nobody else when i saw all the advertisement when i saw all the influencers and all the bloggers uh get gifted this bag or with this bag i was in love with it i think it is so cute i think it is so pretty and it's just a nice fun take on the already popular canvas bag by mark jacobs i think it's a really great bag i think if you want does it all like i said this one does it all for me because it has a zipper you have a strap you can make a crossbody shoulder back your arm this one it is fabric so if you do stain it it's a little bit more hard to clean but since that one is leather if something does happen you just kind of wipe it off loving all the colors and all the variations um i like all the ads that were in it too i think um the ads that they did for the mark jacobs the leather bag i think were really great and were really 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 thought out so i do really like it and i could see myself adding um another tote bag in my collection i'm not sure if it's one of the top top priorities right now just because i already have this one here but it is a bag that i could see myself adding maybe in three or four or five months from now but the tote bag in all leather is going to be one of the hottest it bags for this season guys this one is going to be a kate spade handbag i also haven't talked about kate spade in a long time i am really enjoying this monogram for them like i said i'm not the biggest monogram fan but what i like is that it just had spades on it so it's just literally spades so it doesn't have like ks on it or something else um it is the kate spade flower jacquard stripe 
everything large toe or just anything from this collection i love it i preferably like kind of like that bluish navy color just because i'm more of a blue type person as you can see blue is one of my favorite colors i just think that this collection is really fun it's really well thought out i love that in the ad it's like a, a lady and it's like the guy holding the bag so it kind of gives me kind of like you know i know they look kind of like a couple but i like that it kind of gives me you know a guy could wear this too i just it's just a fun take on kate spade i think Kate Spade has been changing so much and they really have been changing um, within the last five years but I feel like uh, when Nicola Glass was a creative director, I think she still is, I think they changed it so, so uh, core and there wasn't a lot of variety and now they're kind of having core items but then also having those novelty pieces like you know like the crab clutch that they have out so they're bringing a little bit more of novelty and a little bit more fun and that's what's known for Kate Spade I think that um, they just needed to evolve but they didn't completely need to revamp their entire brand I think their brand was perfectly where they were I just think they needed to make a little bit of adjustments so I think that they realize that now relations and I'm seeing Kate Spade evolve and grow uh, within the last five years and um, this one I've always liked I know I think last year they did a variation of this one but I do like this season's collection of it and if you do want a nice canvas bag a large handbag and you do like Kate Spade I think that that one is a really really great choice for you guys next one is going to be a coach handbag and this is one of the top three priority handbags that I have on my list to add it is the coach beat bag in white so first of all the re main reason why I want the bag the bag is beautiful do not get me wrong every time I see this bag I'm like literally drooling I literally want to add it to my collection but it's the chain for me. The chain on the beat bag is, I, I just want it so I can put it on my pillow bag. I want to put it on this tabby right here. I want to put it on my Cassie's that are above here. I love that chain. I think that chain is so versatile. I, I just love that little link look to it. I love the beat bag. I love that it's kind of like that, um, that it's kind of like that very smooth leather. It just makes it look so elevated. It looks, looks, makes it look more uh, expensive than what it is. I know this handbag is at the 498 range, but this literally looks like a thousand dollar plus handbag. I like that the C is kind of very discreet. I like how they kind of played with it on how you open the handbag. I just love the versatility crossbody shoulder bag. It's like a Coach Cassie 19. It has three straps. It is so versatile. If you already have other Coach bags, especially in other, the same colors, you can use those straps. Um, and mix them and match them. I think that the Coach Beat bag you cannot go wrong with, and I'm so excited to be adding this into my collection. Right now, I'm having my pillow moment, but give it like two or three months, and that Beat bag is gonna be in my collection. It's gonna be sitting right here with these two tabbies right there, and I have the Beat bag into my collection. I think it's such a beautiful handbag, and like I said, it's the chain for me. The chain is what makes the bag. I, I, I'm I drooling over the freaking chain. Like, that's how much I love that bag. <laughs> this one is going to be another Marc Jacobs bag, and it's going to be the Marc Jacobs J Link, and this one comes in at 425. I've only seen this handbag one time in person, but let me tell you, this handbag does not look like a $425 handbag. This looks like a handbag like the beat bag over a thousand dollars. If you other, if you feel this handbag, um, it reminds me of kind of like go back art by Marc Jacobs and kind of like the OG kind of Marc Jacobs higher end line. It looks like it would be one of those handbags from that line. It's in so many colors, in so many different variations. I just think I'm a big fan of it and if you like handbags that don't have logos on it or something that's very discreet like I said I haven't really seen nobody have this handbag here in Dallas Fort Worth I've only seen it one time and it was the simple uh, black one if you want this handbag and you don't like logos and you want something that gets so much wear out of it this one's gonna be your best friend I just love how it's very discreet but it's very Marc Jacobs you can tell by the straps you can tell by the handles you can you can just tell that it's Marc Jacobs but without telling me it's Marc Jacobs if you know what I mean J-Link I think is gonna go strong for them just like the tote bags collection in general and the snapshots I think they really started to carry a really great collection the Marc Jacobs brand and I'm so excited to see what else are coming out but the tote bag the snapshot and the J-Link that they knocked them all out of the ballpark and I am so 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 here for this. It's going to be a Brahmin handbag and this one's going to be the Brahmin Ismay shoulder bag in white. I just love that it gives me such a baguette style. I don't know what it is with white bags. I, I'm so here and I'm living for white handbags in my collection. I look that it's classic Brahmin. It's that classic kind of croc leather but it is that Brahmin white. Like you Brahmin bags hold up really well. I love that you can just sling it. You can just put all your stuff in there. It kind of gives me like that Prada vibe like 
oh yeah girl let, like let me put like my little hand cream in there let me put in my little stuff in there and i'm out i'm out and i'm going you can wear it with like this outfit right here you can wear it with white trousers you can bring it up at night wear an all black outfit and you have that popping i think that it's so beautiful i think that it's a really decent price point and it's a really good size so if you do want to get into that nice handbag white trend i think that the brahmin isme is a great choice and the last handbag that i have on this list guys is no other than no other than the michael kors soho we saw this very popular in the fall and winter i think it's still going strong i love this color i added this one in january i have a whole video on this if you want to check it down below i think that this bag you can never go wrong with it is the perfect size it has a back pocket you can open it up it has so many compartments like like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of Michael Kors handbags, but the Soho is absolutely one of my favorite ones. I think that the Soho is my favorite Michael Kors handbag that they've done within the last five years, hands down. And I, I love it. I, I, ha I love that I have it in my collection. There's so many colors, variations, bigger fit within your lifestyle from this Michael Kors Soho handbag. That all 13 of these bags are really great choices to add into your collection. We have handbags under 100 bucks. We have some that are right pushing at the at the limit at $500, like the Coach Speed bag. And there's so many in betweens. There's smaller handbags. There's bigger handbags. I think that either one of these choices are really great. You can never go wrong with them. Um, and I love them. As you can see, I already had I already had a lot of them in my collection. I am going to be adding a few of these that I don't have in my collection into my collection because what it is, guys. For a little bit, I was really into designer handbags. I still love designer handbags. Do not get me wrong. But right now, I'm having such a contemporary handbag moment, and I'm like so here for it. Like, I love it. I'm living for the fantasy. And yeah, guys, I can't wait to see what other handbag I'm going to be adding into my collection from this list. It'll probably be the Troy Birch Ella tote, but who knows? It could be the Coach Beat bag. I don't even know. I just wake up and I just decide, you know, today's the day or today's not the day. I would love to hear your opinions on this list. Do you agree with some of them? Do you not agree with some of them? Are some of them good or some of them bad? Um, I think that all these bags are it bags um, to add into your collection in 2021. I think you can never go wrong with any of them. And I'm so happy, so happy to make this video for you guys. And yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll leave the links down below. I'll post a video Monday through Friday on contemporary and designer fashion. So make sure to subscribe to miss any one of my uploads. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys, and take care. I love each and every single one of you.